So basically, I started realizing lately that years of having put up with social anxiety and bipolar, and I know I'm repeating myself very often with these things, I, uh, I think I've grown used to the idea that life is dispensable, you know, so I wouldn't be at all that, that uncomfortable with death anymore. I think so, at least. What I'm trying to say is that um, after years of having been worn down, just year after year, worn down by my disorders, I don't find the idea of my own mortality that unappealing anymore. So, okay, I'm not saying I'm suicidal or that I want to necessarily just go ahead and die right away, but, I mean, if I were to die, I think I would take some someone with me and I don't mean just random people or good people I think I would take some piece of shit some asshole down with me if I were to uh, ever attempt this sort of thing so so just suicide alone is probably a stupid idea at least at this point it appears to be so anyway today I had my second day of community service and uh, I thought yesterday was easy but apparently today it turned out to be much 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 better I was uh, It started with, and I'm not gonna name any names, but uh, it started with today's uh, supervisor and uh, you know his uh, other workers, his assistants, uh, talking trash about yesterday's supervisor, calling him the, I can't say his name, but uh, let's say Bob the Brown Noser was his name. And at one point they mentioned, uh, you know, about picking up little things, picking up little pieces of trash. They said, don't do it, let, let Bob do it. Uh, Bob is a, basically a human vacuum cleaner. And, you know, all those little impulsive behaviors and uh, the, way, the way I would describe social anxiety is, you know, for people who find it difficult to understand and think that, oh, you know, it's overcomable, uh, you're just shy, you're just being shy. And whenever I wanted to, without the assistance of substances, whenever I wanted to enter a room or a store or any place with many people, it basically felt like and still does when I, you know, skip my pills. It feels like I'm hitting a wall, you know, as soon as I'm, I'm about to enter the place with a bunch of people in it, it's like I'm literally hitting a wall. That's how bad it feels, you know? Like, it's like a force field that is very, force field that is very difficult to overcome, you know? Okay, one of these days I'm definitely gonna get into a car accident because of all the filming I'm doing. That wouldn't be a very good thing to happen. Okay, it's getting pretty traffic around here, and uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and have to see what what else is on the menu, so to speak. I mean, driving is a much better experience than I thought it would be as a kid. Much more relaxing, much more because I used to get very car sick. I used to get just just I would vomit after a few blocks of driving but I realize now that's because I was always in the back seat you know and lo or looking through the window or riding a bus which is still a hell trap I believe to this very day so but uh, driving is relaxing it brings out the autistic side in me so so does picking up trash at these parks you know driving from park to park and picking up little pieces of uh, plastic and bottle caps and all that and this other guy um, you know very enthusiastic black dude uh, very fun joyful uh, guy uh, let's call him Fred for our all purposes uh, one interesting piece of advice that he gave me is um, you know in this business in government with jobs in uh, sanitation and parks department it's not who you it's not who you are or who you know it's who you fuck what he said so I thought that was an interesting way uh, he said he basically I think implied that you fuck your way all the way up to uh, you know the high paying positions it starts with 18 an hour entry then 25 35 and who knows what the limit is 80 grand easy in these government jobs which is uh, you know very coveted position
Clusterfuck as usual over here in New York City. Tunnel has been diverted because they're renaming it from Battery Tunnel to uh, Hugh L. Carey Tunnel. So this big major project is causing a complete renovation and re-scratching of the same walls. Tunnel walls are getting re-scratched. So all in all what I'm trying to say is um oh hold on just a sec all right hold on this is this is it this is my this is my shit so go ahead don't bother me don't i'll talk to you later all right leave me alone for now Look at that, already with the Christmas trees, they're starting. Oh well, when in Rome, when in New York.